Okay, so thinning hair can be tough to handle, especially experts say for women who make up 40% of all hair loss sufferers. Women haven't always had as many treatment options as men, but there's new hope on the horizon, and experts say these new hair loss solutions are making a difference. Visible bald patches with no hair. This is what Arlen Stern's head looked like about 10 months ago. It was incredibly devastating. And now, a full head of hair. Arlen's doctor recommended she try a new product made for women containing 5% minoxidil, a topical over-the-counter medication that promotes hair growth. Little by little, all of a sudden, follicles are really coming and, and it, it just began to really grow out. Experts say this $30 bottle is just one of the latest options for women with hair loss, and the number of treatments is growing. This is an exciting time for research breakthroughs. One of the newest therapies is called PRP, or platelet-rich plasma. Sharon Eckhart, who suffers from hair shedding, pays about $1,400 a session for the procedure every six months. It's cumulative, so each time I have it done, I get the, the results are even better and better. This centrifuge concentrates platelets from Sharon's own blood, then, under local anesthesia, is injected back into her scalp. The goal is to turn on stem cells and regenerate blood vessels to the follicle. We see about 80% of the patients have a positive result. Uh, within two months, we can reduce shedding to a normal level. It takes about a year uh, for reversing the thinning. High-tech devices, experts say, are also making a difference when combined with other therapies. Sharon gets laser treatments in conjunction with PRP in the doctor's office. And used-at-home low-level laser helmets and combs range from $300 to $700. Doctors say just make sure any device you buy is FDA-approved and you only use it as directed. I have seen some really good results. It is a more of an investment um, for someone to pay for this device, but once they buy it, they have it. Um, so I do think it is a, a potential option. Both Arlen and Sharon say they're grateful they found these new treatments, and leaving those bald patches behind has been worth every penny. I don't care about the amount of money that I've spent. It's been very worth it for me because I have my hair back. Experts say new oral medications are being tested right now that seem promising for female hair loss.